Thank you for tuning in again, and we're so glad you're here for our second Friday series on our weekly podcast called the Class Ashing Weekly Wire. I'm Jerry Matman, a partner at Dwayne Morris, and joining me today via Zoom is my colleague and fellow partner, Jen Riley. Thanks for being here, Jen. So happy to be here, Jerry. Today, we wanted to outline, outline for our loyal blog readers and listeners uh, the purpose of our weekly podcast series. Um, the Dwayne Morris uh, Class Action Review was launched in January and edited by myself and Jen. The review is a one-of-its-kind publication, a essential desk reference for corporate counsel and business leaders uh, that impacts all areas of class actions in corporate America. So in this podcast, we wanted to assemble subject matter experts who would explain and analyze the key white hot and cutting edge issues that are underlying the class action world. Um, Jen, could you tell us and share with us your thoughts about this podcast series? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we will be covering and plan to cover myriad substantive areas. Some of those areas include antitrust, appeals, the Class Action Fairness Act, civil rights, consumer fraud, data breach, EEOC-initiated litigation and government enforcement litigation, employment discrimination, ERISA, the Fair Credit Reporting Act, wage and hour class and collective actions, labor, privacy, procedural issues, products liability, mass torts, RICO, securities fraud, state court class actions, um, the Telephone Consumer Protection Act, or TCPA, um, as well as WARN, the Worker Adjustment and Retraining Notification Act. I saw this morning that the 10th Circuit issued a decision that awarded $503 million to plaintiff's attorneys who had prosecuted an antitrust class action. The podcast will also cover sanctions, attorney's fees award, and key settlements. And of course, through these discussions, we will provide the principal takeaways um, from these rulings for corporate counsel and companies. The uh, Dwayne Morris Class Action Review is both a hard copy, about 500 page book, and an ebook that's fully searchable. You can even look at it on your iPhone. It covers 23 substantive areas of laws, plus various appendices, charts, and is based on a database that we download each day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And it analyzes and makes sense of that array of rulings. Um, do you use that book every day in your practice, Jen? Absolutely. And our vision for this podcast is to break down those decisions as well as key trends in all of those areas of law. Since class action litigation continues to present one of the most significant risks to corporations and corporate defendants today. With the growth in class action litigation over the past year, there's no scarcity of topics. Uh, there are breaking developments basically every day. Will the podcast also talk about those current events? Absolutely. Um, the podcast will help listeners navigate these areas and these challenges um, through this class action weekly wire. Well, we hope everyone joins us. And if any listeners have ideas for various topics or things they'd like our subject matters, subject matter experts to talk about, we'll feature those on the weekly podcast also. Thanks so much, Jen. Thank you. Thanks for having me today. And thank you to our listeners for tuning in.